Now, I didn't had a couple of crazy dating stories, but I want to know what would you do if you were in this situation? Like, this is why people really need to start being honest and upfront with people. People just lie too damn much for me. Like, y'all just lie over the craziest thing. Because I bet this girl was so traumatized after this situation. Because I know I would have been. I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. Imagine first date with a man. You hit it off. Great energy. Date runs long. And you have a graduation party to get to. So I'm like, you know what? Okay, you want to come with me to my, to my homegirl's graduation party? He's like, okay, yeah, sure. But I don't want to show up empty-handed, so we, we stop at the Target. Another green flag, because we've been hitting it off. Okay, great. We stop at Target, he gets her a card, we go to the graduation party. I introduce her to my I introduce him to my friend. Cool. We go to my car. We're getting into my car. He's saying, like, oh yeah, can you drop me off at the mall? Da 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 da, like whatever. Fine, because he allegedly Ubered an hour to get to me. Because he lives far out, not in the city. This man gets in my car. Baby, if you made it this far in this video, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can see more of these videos. Also, go follow me on IG because I do post a lot of videos on IG too. And then also my TikTok because this is where you see a little snippet of the videos first. So go ahead and go follow me on TikTok. But okay, let's get straight back into this video. All of a sudden, a girl, a woman comes up out of the blue. I don't know where this woman was. She comes up. And she yanks open my passenger side door. She's like, what the F are you doing? Get up. Come with me right now. Come with me right now. Get up. Get up. You're coming with me. At first, I thought she was joking. And at first, I thought it was like she saw him from afar, thought he was fine. Came into the car. was like, you're coming with me. You're coming with me. Because he was just like, chill, chill, chill. So I was like, oh, okay, that's cute. Like, he's fine. Okay, period, sis. But like, not too much. But then she gets rowdy. She's like, get out the car. Get out the car. And yanks. This full grown size my man and yanks him out the car. So I'm like, oh, y'all know each other. Takes him out the car. Bella, my car is here. Her car is here. I'm T-boned in. I cannot move. There's a car in front of me. So all I can do is sit and look in my rear view at her beating. Just beating his ass. Just beating his ass. At her beating just beating his ass just beating his ass and i'm like i turn my music down so i can hear what's being said i can't hear nothing but just it's going and i'm like what the heck i didn't have the word like i know the words that happened so fast and i cannot move so i'm sitting here waiting waiting for her to finish his beating finally they start to back up. They pull up beside me. I'm looking like this. And he goes. And they drive off. And I just didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Because clearly that's your girl. We talked about cheating. We talked about red flags. We talked about green flags. He had passed a lot of like he had a good head on his shoulders i thought we talked about cheating in 30 minutes we talked about emotional versus physical cheating and she picked him up and yanked him out of the passenger side and they drove off and then he texted me what are you doing what am i doing i'm coping I'm done with men, especially light skins. I can't. Homegirl said, after this, I ain't dating no more light skinned men. I just want to know why it always be the light skinned men that be up to no good. I'm just playing, y'all. It's, it's all men. A lot of these men be up to no good. And for the simple fact that a lot of men, they just want to be players. They don't want to tell you that they messing with somebody else. Like, this is one thing that's kind of scary about dating because you just never know who messing with who. Who who got a girlfriend? Who got a wife? Who, who got a husband? I mean, nowadays, you just don't know. Like, everybody want a piece of their pie and want a piece of yours, too. 
Because, baby, when she said he, they pulled up on the side of her car. Home dude waved at her. <laughs> this man don't give a care about nothing. He don't even give a care about the fact that his girlfriend then came and caught him cheating. This must be something that he do on a regular. Because he was too nonchalant and non-caring about this. But, girl, I'm so glad that you got away. I'm so glad that he showed you God revealed everything on the first day. Because, girl, them problems is problems you don't want. Because that could have been you getting your ass whooped out there. But instead, she spared you and whooped his ass. <laughs> this just seemed like she deals with this on a day-to-day -day basis. She used to this. But I'm just happy that you got away, girl. But that is it for this video, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And y'all already know. Y'all gonna see me in another video. Bye.